Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Force here. Yes, more SC2 commentary. How exciting. I know you're thrilled. Today it's going to be a game between Grubby and Vibe. This is going to be a Protoss versus Zerg here on Shakuras Plateau, starting in the upper right-hand spawn location. We've got our blue Zerg player, Vibe. A little in information on him, currently ranked number one in his Masters division. This season he has got 74 wins, 57 losses giving him a 56.49% win ratio, and this is, is, of course, on the European ladder. And then his opponent over here in the upper left-hand spawn position is Grubby, our red Protoss player, currently ranked number 19 in his Masters division with four wins and three losses, giving him a 57.14% win ratio, again, on the European ladder. And Grubby, why you no play ladder games this season, huh? Focusing on playing custom matches and not too concerned about the ladder apparently this season But we all know Grubby. Grubby is of course a very strong Protoss player and someone who I really enjoy watching uh, Unfortunately, I was never really I played a bunch of Warcraft 3 obviously no Grubby is a professional Warcraft 3 player Really really good, but unfortunately I never really got into the pro scene at all at that point I wasn't really focused on kind of esports. I was just playing the game to enjoy it kind of thing uh, really, really disappointed about that though, because I would, given his StarCraft performance, I would have loved to see how he played Warcraft 3. I think he would have been a very, very exciting player to watch. I think he's known as one of the best, like literally one of the best players in Warcraft 3. I don't think he's quite of that caliber yet in StarCraft, but nevertheless he is strong. And uh, I would say relatively consistent in his performance as well. Grubby will be going with a Forge Fast Expand. Looks like he will be going Nexus first as he is saving up those 400 resources. So here comes that Nexus. Again, keep in mind that he went in with the Probe Scout and he saw that pool was not there at all. So he wasn't too concerned about getting hit too, too early. And we can see that pool still isn't even finished. We're going to see that Forge shortly here. He might get some lings before that first cannon gets through, but it won't be very long until that finishes and then he'll be all set from that point forward so he may get a few links in his base it's all going to be dependent on whether or not oh yes he of course he got scouted vibe out there with the overlord so vibe knows where he is and uh, by the way look at this harass here from grubby really delaying this expansion here very frustrating situation for vibe you can see he's over those 300 minerals he needs to drop that hatch now he's got four links coming out Vibe didn't even check the front so vibe has no idea that this forge was pretty late there's the cannon though, so it looks like he will be all set. That should finish literally just in time. What the heck are those links doing? <laughs> Sitting idly over there, they're now going to be checking over here, and Grubby is hiding in this position, trying to prevent a third, but also probably going to be using that for secondary scouting. Walks right by the probe, the link completely misses it. There's a drone dropping the third, Grubby misses that too. What is going on? So here comes a third from Vibe in response to the Forge Fast Expand here that we're seeing from Grubby. Probe takes a couple shots there from the Queen, moving into the main, just going to be checking. Baneling Nest, Roach Warren, anything like that? Nope, no Extractor either. So Grubby is 100% sure right now of, as to what's coming. He knows that there is a third, if nothing is here, including no Extractors. Even though he didn't actually scout the third, he did spot the drone moving up, and he's uh, pretty certain that that is there. Ling's moving forward now. He will be able to kill off this probe, I'm assuming here. we got this queen on the low ground. A couple shots should be able to take care of that. Let's see if he can make it home, though, huh? Is he really going to make it there? Never mind. Gets taken out. So the probe gets taken out. And there you have it. Back over here for Grubby just now finishing his cybernetics core. Once that is up, we'll see him make that next tech decision. Should, at the very least, be seeing that warp gate research right away. Just a little bit shy there. We'll be grabbing that in just one moment. Zealot moving across the map for Grubby. Uh, this is actually really good. <clears throat> really like to see this here by Grubby. It's going to force the creation most likely of some more Zerglings because Vibe at the moment really doesn't have enough to deal with this whatsoever. He's got two Zerglings left. <laughs> so he, he's certainly concerned about the Zealot walking up into that uh, expansion there. Again, at the very least, Grubby can force the creation of more Zerglings if he decides to engage any one of these hatcheries. The natural or the third over here. He can hit any one of those bases. And yeah. So here comes 12 more lings right now. Again, Vibe would love those to be drones, but they're not. They're forced to be Zerglings because this damn, damn zealot. Also, a stalker moving up on the natural expansion there. Get a pro pushing on over in this direction as well. Warp Gate Research halfway done. So there you go, Stalker going to be pulling away now. Again, he, since he doesn't have to deal with Metabolic Boost, what are you doing? Not micro the Stalker. Looks like he was focused elsewhere, probably on that zealot. 
The Zealot has a few kills right now, sitting at five. Doing a little bit of damage to that hatchery as well. I'm gonna try to pull back, do as much damage as possible, prevent that surround. Unable to get any more kills though, he gets taken out. I'm really sad that Stalker didn't pull back. The Stalker could have gotten away from those Zerglings. He's got that speed. Without that metabolic boost, the Zerglings have a really hard time catching up to him. Couple of drones moving down. Should start to see him drone up pretty heavily right now. Three creep tumors also getting dropped. His vibe is gonna start spreading that creep across the map. For now, he should be able to get map control. He's got enough lanes to be able to prevent any zealous from holding that. And back over here, we've got level one weapons upgrade coming out for Grubby. Grubby also got four more gateways being dropped down. We do have a Roach Warren coming out for Vibe. Keep an eye on that. A little pylon over here for future use by Grubby. Overlord checking that third, realizing it's not there. Nothing to worry about. And yes, Roach Warren and droning up is what we'll be seeing right now for Vibe. I don't know how many roaches he intends on coming out with, maybe just enough to defend himself in case Grubby pushes out, but I don't think this is really the time for him to be kind of massing up and pushing out. In fact, taking a look over here, you can see a couple spines as well as a spore. He's kind of going into defensive mode with that. Four zealots in the center of the map right now. Those lings don't stand a chance, deciding to pull back. That's a bit of a hairy situation, and here it is. Aggression from Grubby. He will likely be hitting this third base over here. And as such, we should be seeing a bunch of roaches come out here for Vi. There are seven roaches in production right now. Another pylon gets dropped, and here we go. Early aggression, my friends. This is going to be off of one, two, three, four, five gateways. We also have a robotics coming on through. That's going to be used after this engagement, though. A couple of zealots moving up here, going straight for the queen. Going to force him back with 12 roaches in production now. These zealots over here are doing a bit of damage. Those roaches should be all set, though. Zealots without charge. Going to have a hard time against the micro-rung roaches on that creep. So not sure how much more damage Grubby is going to be able to do. He's going to be warping in another wave of units though, and he's going to be uh, reinforcing with that. Actually, it looks like that's going to be at the natural expansion. Zealot's doing a bit of damage over here on hold position so they don't engage those roaches, just focusing on those drones right there. Also, a few Zealots up in the main, again, doing what they can for damage. I'm liking this engagement here from Grubby. He's just kind of a little all over the place. Got some more units being warped, and he's really dedicated to this. Five gate push that we're seeing here. We got a war prism coming out as well as a twilight council just about to finish. All the units in the main have been taken care of now. Grubby diverting his attention to the natural and then deciding not to. Pulling back, thinking, yeah, now's not the time, I suppose. Let's head on back home. Oh, love how early this crazy creep spread is coming from Vibe. That is just nuts. He's getting it really far out there very early on. Vibe moving in with that scout. Going to be changing into an Overseer now. The one thing I don't know, though, is that if he knows about that War Prism. War Prism now just popping. Grubby going to continue up this harass here. A little little different form this time, but that could very well get spotted. He needs to be careful about avoiding that. Uh, avoid the Overlord. For the love of God. Nope, you don't. Watch right by the Overlord. So now Vibe should be aware of that and... Diverting units to defend against it. I guess not, though. Stalker on the low ground will be shooting that overlord over there. Let's see what he can do. What vibes for, I guess he wasn't checking his mini map because he has no idea that this is coming right now. And here you go, War Prism going straight in the back of the resource line. One sentry, two zealots. There are the force fields trying to trap those drones in. Let those zealots go to town. That zealot's tweaking out. Hopefully he turns around. There you go. Focus your attention. Warping in the Stalker. Oh, boy. This is really going to be hurting vibe right now. Take a look at the uh, number of workers killed. 16 workers killed so far this game. Grubby doing a little bit of micro there, picking up those injured units. That is a very effective engagement there. I think he's only lost the sentry so far, and that is finally Roaches coming down to deal with that. He's gonna grab, oh, I thought he was gonna grab it in time. Still pretty nice there by Grubby. Taking a look at the resources lost, they're about equal, but look at this, 17 workers killed for Grubby. Now, that is uh, certainly an advantage for him. Change into Colossus coming out as we're seeing that Robotics Bay come on through. Another Nexus getting dropped over here. This is going to be Grubby's third base. Two Photon Cannons, a little bit of stationary defense. And Blink Stalker research now finished. Grubby, just one form of harass after the other. Starts off with that push, moves into War Prism harass. Now Blink Stalkers. Going to be seeing some Blink Stalkers make their way on through here. Just needs to grant himself some vision of the high ground without Warp Prism. Got an Observer over here too. That would do the trick. Here we go. Blink Stalker's moving up in that direction. Zealot's over here. Probably going to push on that expansion. Blink Stalker's now in the main. Also getting a couple units dropped up there. We've got a lot of roaches and hydras though. We just need to be careful. Nice force fields trapping a few of those units over there. Getting ready to blink on back to the low ground. Cup, a little bit too much here. Of a defense there from Vibe that's going to force Grubby back. I don't know if that was the most effective engagement, but did a little bit of damage. 
still about even 2450 to 2425 in terms of resources lost for both players two more gateways coming through finally starting with those colossus now as well grubby still chilling out over here with a bunch of zealots hasn't really made use of that and an observer scout moving across the map too it's probably about time that he starts trying to kill off some of those creep spread too it doesn't have, definitely doesn't want that to be up there for too long love the wall off here from grubby also supported there with those photon cannons it's gonna help him a lot against any run buys that we may be seeing from vibe vibe pulling forward you got the observer with the stalkers and zealots gonna start killing off that creep again perfect time to do that doesn't want this spread to go on for too much longer hydra is very threatening here gonna force him back overseer spots the observer allows those hydras and roaches to snipe it out these zealots are goners might see a couple of force fields to try to oh well, actually look at that he lets it go through Vibe decides not to chase him across the map and just lets him pull back through. Got another drop coming on over here from Grubby. One big concern here is Vibe has not done any counter harass whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. So uh, he really has been so focused on defending himself, unable to push out. Probably just working on massing up right now, though. He's got the 2-2 two -two upgrades coming on through. Uh, Grubby doing a little bit of damage to the building extractor <laughs> and then just leaving. Doesn't want to commit any more units to that. Back here in the center of the map with some blink stalkers. No observer though means he won't be killing off any more creep. Ooh, he needs to be careful. Oh, don't want to lose anything there unnecessarily. Sonic Storm research also coming out. Colossus gonna start to make their way onto the battlefield. We've got two in play. No more coming out right now at the moment. Again, that Psy Storm just now starting, so he's gonna be able to mix it up there between those Colossus and the High Templar. Another War Prism drop over here from Grubby. <laughs> Grubby is all over this, huh? Whoa, Roaches! Nice swarm over here. Roaches sneaking their way in back of the third. This is going to be a huge headache from Grubby. It's going to be very difficult for him to get units up here, except for those Blink Stalkers. I guess those Colossus are going to be able to work on through. He should be all set and defending himself now. Very nice, though. That's very, very nice indeed. Also got some Zealots being warped in over here, so a bit more damage coming out from Grubby as he pushes in this direction. Finally defends his third, gets back to mining. Small engagement in the center of the map. This has been taken care of. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> See you later. Gets dropped instantly. That is not where War Prism wants to be. Underneath Hydralis. No, thank you, sir. A little bit of a task force moving across the map, doing some damage. Streaming his units in vibes. Actually going to be losing some units there. Finally getting those roaches up and assisting. Still have this Nidus Worm over here. Hopefully Grubby decides to look for that. There you go. He's going to be searching the base finally for it. Just attack move pattern right all the way across. Vibe has a bunch of roaches getting ready to pop out, but... Grubby's going to be able to take care of that quickly. There it is. Drops it. Tries to get the Overlord as well. He makes it to safety. Colossus, sorry, you're not going to be able to do much about that. You can blink down and try to take it out, though, I suppose, if you so desire. And another Nidus Swarm right over here, just popping up. Gets taken out almost instantly. Vibe not able to do as much damage as he may have hoped to there. I don't even think he hit that resource line all that much. Still, he's kind of all over the place. Gotta love it, I must say. He's also got an uh, Overlord scouting over here. He's got that one over there to try to drop another Nidus, and he still has this over here. So we may still be, be seeing some more Nidus threats there from Vibe. Vibe also now done that Hive tech. will be working his way up into a Greater Spire, which is located right over here. Big push coming across the map, though. Grubby may not give him the opportunity to get those Brewlords in play. Decide to pull back that Roach Hydra infester composition a little bit too threatening to him at the moment high templar joining the fun and now he decides it's time to engage pulls on forward just be careful in terms of timing that storm and getting in the right position there it is storm landing on the hydras the hydras are the most effective thing in this unit composition for him to target and he is just roasting through the zerg army right now the colossus are probably going to get dropped there from all those corruptors but still he's got a lot of blink stalkers left some immortals some high templar he is continuing up this push. No counter aggression right now from Vibe yet. He's got no more. Nidus Network's coming into place. Some more Blink Stalkers moving up there. Trying to take out some of these spines as they're building. Going to attempt to force the cancel over there as well. Grubby's keeping it up. We have an Overlord moving in. And there's another Nidus we're going to be seeing coming on through. Vibe able to finally push off this attack. He's got a Nidus attempting. That's going to get taken out. The Blink Stalkers prevent that from going through. A couple Blink Stalkers going to be hitting over in this position. Also some Blink Stalkers moving on over here. Look at that microing on multiple fronts. Got to love it, Grubby. Excellent job, sir. Excellent job indeed. Pulling back with these Blink Stalkers. Stay away from those roaches, please. 
Do some damage over here. Oh, unfortunately, he loses his observer to the spore crawler. That's just silly. I guess that's what happens when you divert your attention too much. Another night swarm coming up over here. Vibe gonna be hitting this fourth base of Grubby. Some Blink Stalkers and a cannon should be enough to deal with this though. Still has the Blink Stalkers over here doing more and more damage. Take a look at the workers killed. Grubby's killed up 24 so far this game. Roaches will be able to mop up the rest of that. Those Roaches get taken out. Nidus gets dropped. This game, action packed, all sorts of stuff going on all over the place. Yes, very descriptive, thank you. <laughs> Gonna be breaking down these rocks, allowing him to expand up here. Also let him deal with these types of overlords a little bit easier. Another observer coming on through here for Grubby. Grubby is now 1-3 in terms of upgrades. One armor and three weapons. Taking a quick look over here. Vibe is 2-2. Two, two. And does he have any melee upgrades as well? No melee upgrades. So two range, two armor. Attack there for Vibe. Vibe's got a little bit of a force pushing out. Trying to threaten Grubby. Still have two overlords prepared to do some more uh, Nidus network action. <laughs> Grubby blinking forward. Grabs a few of those roaches. Haven't seen any more drops recently from Grubby. Saw a little bit of that Blink Stalker harass, but that was about it. Trying to push forward. This is too much of a force right now for Vibe to deal with. Forced to cancel that, but here comes the Broodlord. Da -da -da -da. Broodlords, very scary right now for Grubby. Uh, he needs to blink under them, but then you, then you worry about walking into this force or to fungal growths. You need to be very, very careful when it comes to positioning. And certainly the same thing goes for Vibe. He needs to be wary of the position of those overlords and make sure he's not setting himself up to be in a vulnerable spot at any point. Blink Stalker harass coming. Vision to the high ground from the Observer. Blink Stalkers will walk right up in this expansion into some spy crawlers, but then after they stop dancing around, they should do some attacking. That'd be great. Yes, it would. There's another knight is coming up over here. Takes out a lot of the spines. More spines get dropped. A ton of roaches over here. Nidus now finish. Here comes Speedlings in the main. This is going to be a problem here for Grubby. Does he have any forces over here to defend this? No, he does not. He's going to warp in some stuff, of course, I'm assuming. But man, oh man. Another engagement coming over here. Vibe will be forced to cancel that. If not, he will lose it. That is certainly not what he wants. Still have the Zerglings in the main. Take out the robotics. Very nice. No more Colossus will be coming through. Seeing a transition into Void Rays. He's going to take out this Nidus finally. Still got some Lings though, doing a bunch of damage over here. Blink Stalkers, he's going to blink on the high ground. No, looks like he's not being forced back over here in this position as well as Vibe is able to defend himself from any more push from that angle thanks to those Broodlords. Blink Stalkers back up in this expansion here. We're going to take out these Roaches and then continue to work on those Spines. Maybe even blink back here, hit that resource line. That'd be nice as well. I'd love to see it. Yes, I would. Finally, able to take care of that Nidus. And actually taking care of that one as well. Still some speedlings in the main doing damage. He is just so, so, you know, his attention is in a million places at once right now. Is basically what I'm trying to say. We got a big push moving across the map. Roach is walking into some storm. So are some stalkers. So I guess all is fair. Blink stalkers able to take out all those spines. Now working on this expansion. Five really needs to start sniping some expansions himself. Otherwise, he's going to be in a tough, tough spot. Brood lords are going to be what he needs to do it. Again, do keep in mind that we got those Void Rays in play and not any Corruptors even I'm seeing right now. We got a few Corruptors in play. Six in play, but I didn't see any with his main army over here. And no Corruptors in that main army. Does drop that expansion though. Storm trying to force him back. This expansion is taken out. Looks like all the Stalkers have been taken care of as well. Anything else going on over here for him? No, 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 no. He's pushing with these Brew Lords. Gonna continue to try to do some damage again. Needs to be careful about positioning Storm. A Blink Stalkers and Void Rays. Could be a huge problem here for Vibe. Now Vibe does have those Corruptors. That's helping a lot. Also some Infested Terrans helping. Blink Stalkers going right up under the Brood Lords though. Going to continue to try to snipe them down. No counterattack at all coming off from Grubby. He is way too preoccupied with this, as he should be. Certainly a threatening push. He's starting to lose some of his Stalkers, but it looks like he was able to defend a ton of Colossus. No longer posing a threat. As the, A ton of Corruptors no longer posing a threat because there are no longer any Colossus in play. No more Knight is coming on through right now for Vibe. I have consistently got to check for that because he's been doing it so often in this game. Again, Blink Stalkers are a huge problem for those Broodlords. You can see those Broodlord numbers have dropped down to just this one, and he is gone. And it's just got a bunch of Corruptors and Roaches, Speedlings, and a few Infestors as well. Blink Stalkers, nice micro Grubby. Pull back those injured units. Very, very nice Grubby. 2-3 upgrades for Grubby. Still just 2-2 here for Vibe. They want to start considering getting some more of that. And Charge Yell, it's him this expansion. He's going to snipe this down before there is a response from Vibe. I think he should get it before those roaches drop. It's going to be close. 
Roach is doing what they can. Zealots continuing to churn away, and it's gone. That is a major, major issue for Vibe. He dropped to this expansion, but he has lost a lot more. He's got much less mining going on right now. Let's take a look at that resource tab there. Grubby is ahead, dropping the spawning pool. No more Zerglings. Gonna drop the Nidus Network as well. Blink Stalker's mobility walking right into the main. Doing a bunch of damage. Trying to pull back. Fungal Growth prevents that. Still, that was very, very nice for Grubby. Losing all the Stalkers certainly kind of sucks, but... Taking out that Nidus and taking out that spawning pool. That's an issue. Take a look over here. He can't build. He can't even build another spawning. Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> he can build another spawning pool. He can't build another Roachworm Bane Nest. Or uh, the other thing, too, is spines right now. He can't build any spines until he gets another one of those spawning pools up. I'm, I, I'm certain the vibe knows that that got dropped. And I hope that he does you know, try to remedy that. You might need to transition to Speedlings on a moment's notice. So it's going to be a good idea to make sure that you have that opportunity. Zelda's going to force another cancel over here. Again, Vibe realizing that he really needs to continue to hit these expansions. Moving over there. We got some more stalkers moving up here. They're going to stop these drones from being able to remote mine anymore. That expansion gets canceled. Big, big push, though, coming from Vibe. This could be scary for Grubby. Grubby needs to kind of rally up his forces to make sure he can deal with this. Blink Stalkers pulling on over, harassing this expansion too. There's almost no income right now for Vibe. He's got practically no mining going on. Remote mining everything from over here. And these Blink Stalkers might even take out this expansion. Vibe, if he can't defend this, that's a problem. More Blink Stalkers moving up over here. Again, Grubby is everywhere. It's like a nightmare. All over the place, hitting from multiple directions, forcing Vibe back to his base just to make sure he doesn't lose to a couple Stalkers. Able to mop up what was in his main. It takes out the Stalkers all but one over here at this expansion. Again, he's just remote mining. His income is terrible. We still have mining from over here and over here going on from Grubby. No more Nidus action here from Vibe this game. Again, because we do not have that Nidus network in play. So it doesn't really have that opportunity anymore. Still, though, Vibe does have a lot. We do have to keep a close eye on all those Brew Lords, Roaches, and Infestors. A couple more Infestors coming out. Vibe really now down to it here as he's running very low on resources. And as Grubby continues to have an income going, he's able to get more and more reinforcements. And uh, all of a sudden, it's looking really, really bad for Vibe here. Grubby pushing out right now. Takes a fungal growth, takes a couple. Blink Stalker is able to escape that fungal over there and try to get up under the Broodlord. Still not underneath. A nice feedback there and an Infester as well. We're starting to see nice storms. Massive fungal growth doing so much damage. Almost kills off those Stalkers. That was very, very close. Forcing them all the way back, allowing those Broodlords to continue to push. So continue to push here coming from Vibe. No counter aggression at the moment at all. And Grubby's about to lose this base too. Broodlord so effective. Look at all those injured Stalkers, but there's not a ton of energy left. We're going to see no more Fungal Gross here from Vibe, so now the Stalkers do have the upper hand. Not getting rooted in place allows them to get right up under those Broodlords. Still not enough energy for any Fungal Gross. Get right under the Broodlords and start sniping them down. We're seeing a couple of infested Terrans, but the Broodlords now down to one, zero. No more Broodlords in play. A few Roaches and Festers, and that's it. Blink Stalkers, again, when you can't fungal growth, very hard to keep them at bay and prevent them from sniping out your Broodlords, and that's exactly what we saw there. Grubby able to take that out. He's now going to drop this expansion. Has this one coming on through, and at the moment, Vibe doesn't have what's necessary to push against that without any more Broodlords. Again, what has he got? 14 Roaches, 6 Infestors. He's got this army knocking his front door, so he has to defend with that, and that means that this expansion should be able to go up safely. And Grubby, he can either try to go on the offensive or just continue to defend. Here, look at all those creep tumors. That's hilarious. <laughs> Blink Stalker is now moving up in the main. Just three, but that's going to force, at the very least, Vibe to divert some of his forces just to deal with that. More than some, actually, because of Blink Stalker Micro. He needs to make sure he gets rid of this threat, so he needs to bring enough to be able to kill it off quickly. Otherwise, they will just keep coming back. Again, we haven't been seeing any counter-aggression here from Vibe at all. He's been way too focused on defending himself. That's not a criticism, it's just a fact. He's had to have been focused on defending himself. It would be nice if he took out this pylon, though. I think that would certainly help him. <laughs> Grubby pushing out. Lots of Blink Stalkers. Got an Archon there, Immortal, Colossus. One High Templar as well. It's a fun little task force moving out. 
revived. Lands of Fungal Growth. Needs to be careful with those Infestors, though. They are certainly pretty vulnerable in this position. Fungal Growth allowing those Roaches and Hydras push on up. Nice Storm. Vibe taking a lot of damage from that. Decides to pull back right now. We got a few more High Templar and enough energy for some more Storms as well. There it is. Storms doing more damage. Turning around. So now's the time to engage. Another Storm gets laid down. Hydras all gone. One left with one HP. Hello. <laughs> One left with one HP, and that's about it right now. Taking a look at the production tab, we've got more Colossus and an Archon coming out. Five more Infestors. Vibe really focused on those. Certainly very, very strong. But, you know, if, even if you miss one Fungal Growth and you get Blink Stalkers right up in your Infestors' face, they're, they're going to get dropped very quickly. And that's something that certainly has to be a concern right now for Vibe. He needs to be very, very aware in every single engagement. We'll have some Blink Stalker sitting over here, and again, these observers on the high ground, allowing for the small Blink Stalker harass, and Vibe absolutely 100% needs to stop this from happening. What is happening right now needs to be stopped. This is his only mining base. If he does not stop this, might as well call GG. Trying to move out, burrowed infestors get destroyed, courtesy of an observer and some stalkers. And this expansion gets dropped. I don't know if Vibe has just given up. Now he's got some counter-aggression pulling on over here with some infested Terrans. He's managed to harass this expansion, but we still have this mining expansion over here right now. And literally, Vibe has got no income right now at all. And he's about to lose even more. There it is, Vibe calling GG. Well played. Good game indeed. Thank you for watching, guys. What a great long back and forth game here between Grubby and Vibe. And hopefully, as always, you guys did enjoy it. Remember, if you like the content, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. Thanks again for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more StarCraft II commentaries coming up and all sorts of other gaming-related videos. Oh, the life of a gamer. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Keep watching and keep owning.